filled with airplane peanuts. I was doing drugs. I was staying at Ari Shafir's old place, dude, dude. before he freaking uh, did that uh, epithet for Kobe or whatever he did, whatever it's yeah, called, yeah, yeah, before yeah, yeah, he yeah. spoke at his funeral. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, uh, I got locked out of there. Dude, I had to climb. They have like these communal gardens or something. Yeah. It's like, you know, sometimes. I'm like, <laughs> no, they don't. <laughs> they there's do, no, though. They have like. There's no communal garden. In there. Stop, bro. <laughs> stop making shit up. I'm not joking, bro. <laughs> Yo, stop telling me there's a bro, fucking communal garden. I had to sneak <laughs> through. <laughs> I had to sneak through some There's a koi fish pond. I'm swimming through the koi fish pond. I had to sneak through some <laughs> rabbit <laughs> patch in the backyard to get into his place. Like, bro, it was insane. It was just crazy. Yeah, yeah and it was just a lot, bro. You're sweat and there's just a lot going on for even somebody that's right. not i felt like i almost got wrapped up in one of your stories it almost happened just right there bro it almost happened right there I, it sounded no, it sounded so romantic and fantastical that i was like oh tell me about new york there's and a realized, communal garden a fucking communal garden at 12th and c there's a fucking communal <laughs> garden or somebody burned a building down and there's growth <laughs> and there's the weeds growth. started to grow yeah dude anyway i had to jump a fence i just sneak around the yeah. back of his building to get in yeah yeah i just want to be free also to say what i want to say like last night on the stage joey diaz had a stage that a joke that had a bunch of racial slurs in it right yeah. ones that we would n all not even probably say on this podcast except you because you work with a lot of black people you might be willing to drop oh them. i don't do the n-word huh i don't do the n-word oh i don't do it dude unless you do you know what i'm saying bro you know what i'm saying oh, i'm just joking man i mean i quit doing it probably about four years ago when everybody else did really yeah you got off i mean yeah, yeah dude, i was like uh, i like how you quit porn after this train <laughs> this train is going nowhere i'm tan bro yeah i look, I look better tan bro oh you do Yo, i think i look better tan well dude. you come in a lot more and i'll be honest with you bro yeah. you come in a lot more i think mexican bro or fucking beach slavic you know <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like beach, uh, Croatian. Croatian. Beach Slav. Dude, I'm saying, bro, they're fucking Slavs, bro. They're about Yo, it. them Slavs are wild, Dude, bro. they are. Because they're, they're, they're ladies. white? Yeah. But they're not. Oh, they're not. Bro. Right? They're not, dude. They're you not. crack them open, dude. There's a couple brothers in there. There's a couple you know what I'm saying? Like, There's a couple brothers in the ribcage eating oranges, bro. It's like they're them probably... little Russian, <laughs> little Russian dogs. Oh, okay. You gonna get a brown one eventually? Yeah. Oh, they're Sheldrick. Yeah. It's like the reason the it's R. all Kelly advertising. Shit. It's all advertising. Like the, the R. Kelly shit is coming out again now because he's broke, so he can't pay people off. Oh wow. Yeah. It's like it, imagine how how stressful that must have been though. Just juggling all the pedophilia stuff, you know, just bussing around the fucking, warming the urine constantly and bussing it around, <laughs> you know, like. He didn't like to produce new urine, no, he liked no. an aged Oh, I bet, I'm urine. sure he did. He Absolutely. seems like a guy that likes an aged urine. Nice aged urine. Oh, yeah. that's dark, isn't it? Yeah, but it is what it is. It is funny, though. It is funny. We had a question that came up. Uh, um... Raleigh Mal's here with us today, and uh, and why don't you bring something up, Raleigh? We got a fellow that, from the MTA, I know, that brought in a question here. It's an <clears> urban <throat> gentleman, kind of. Suburban gentleman. No, urban. This guy's urban. Oh, urban gentleman. There we go, Raleigh. Get it out Cali? there. That's it. Huh? Think you ever moved back to Cali? Well, let's see what this guy has to say. <laughs> Sorry, Brandon. The pod the podcast is over. It's, it's just gonna be some sting, Brandon. <laughs> oh, it's been sting for a couple weeks over there. <laughs> you and Chrissy better eat some weird <laughs> shit. <laughs> hey, what's on the menu? What's on the menu next week? <laughs> oh, they're probably getting freaking ridiculous over there. Dude, I'm, I'm not fly, you think I'm flying in <laughs> for a delicacy, son? Stop. 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 Get out of here. Get the volume uh, on, Riley. No, hold on. So you're not going back, bro? Hmm? You're not going? <laughs> I'm going back, dude. <laughs> Fuck you, bro. This is a question. Turn the question bro, on, right? I can't even throw my mic. The, there's no bro, sound coming. Well, there's even sound. Fix the damn thing. Yeah, I couldn't even it. throw my mic away because y'all made fun of me for the way I laugh on the podcast. Who did? You, <laughs> shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's you, dude. Yeah. That is you. Bro, yeah, that's you. <laughs> <laughs> Who said that? Who did that one? <laughs>
<laughs> I did. That's awesome, bro. bro Find a better way to crying. fix it, Riley. Yeah, I know. That's what I'm trying to do. Okay. I was crying. Sorry, man. This question was supposed to fit in How old are these kids perfect. you got working here, bro? Uh -huh. <laughs> like 12 years old, both these kids. I don't know. Kids. It's getting bad. You got man. a little Peter Pan factory going on okay, over here. getting bad. <laughs> <laughs> Dude. <laughs> What's going on, bro? Dude? That's the one thing you find out outside of LA and New York, dude. It's, it's young boys. <laughs> oh, no, 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 dude. We got a question, dude. Your mic is looking for you, bro. <laughs> it's just getting further. Bro, look. The other day, your mic put up a wanted poster. There's a picture of you on it, bro. Have you seen? It's just you with a picture of your hand so, in front. Like, somebody like, got to prank me where they, they just like cement it in. I go to push it away. <laughs> I just <laughs> throw myself up. It's the new shake weight. It's your, it's your, yeah. God, I'm sure. He did 212 mics today. Uh, I, I Do you feel like that things are better off than the media makes them seem to be? Yeah. Dude, that's this like. With I the, feel like I'm asking you all the questions that like I have questions too, and you're like, "How the fuck do you still have these questions?" No, no, I'm not. <laughs> and knocking, it's okay. It's good. I'm not actually. knocking your question. I'm saying like I could. I assume you're asking me this question because you already feel a way about it. You already feel like yeah, people but I get overreact. Oh so yeah. So I'm not knocking your question. I'm agreeing with your sentiment that I'm assuming you have. Yeah. Right. So. Like the Jesse Smollett situation is a perfect example. It's like when we found out it was fake, right? People went, but things like this happen every day. No, no they, they don't. don't. That's what I say. They never happen. Yeah. They, and people were literally tweeting. They were like, there are lynchings every day. Where? Where? Yeah. Somebody told me that there's still I, slaves in South Carolina. Someone told Bro. me. Like, are you fucking crazy? Possibly. But yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. yeah, dude. No, no, no. But it's only it's... because, yeah, people, maybe somebody that's hard of hearing and is fucking committed to <laughs> their job. Free! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, but nobody's just like signing up anymore. Just a bunch of guys like, what's emancipation yeah, mean? Yeah. I don't know what that yeah. means. They really chose the biggest word yeah, to yeah. say you're they free. They really did. And they did it on purpose. Oh, they they're, like, they're not going to know what this did. means. We're going to get a few yeah, years out of this. We're going to fucking slip a couple <laughs> Two or three of more years. We're going to do me. Emancipation, nuh uh. I'm not. Proclamation. Doing it. Oh. They just kept using bigger and bigger words. That's so true, huh? Because we had Chris Hansen oh, yeah, on, and that. then everybody kept hitting me like, yo, tell him to pay back Theo. <laughs> oh, yeah. I was like, for what? Like, did, I thought they said tell him to pay back Theo. And I didn't know if like you were involved in like to catch a predator in some way or oh, like. Oh no, I never done anything like that. Okay, so like no, not. I'll be honest, bro. I yeah, had yeah. one girl. He should show up here though. Because... One girl sent me a message on IG, and yeah, I yeah. said, "You are too young for me." Now, could he? She work for you with the rest of the fucking children I, that you have in here, dude? Know, look, dude, 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 dude. That kid is of age. How that old are you? He doesn't even know what the fucking <laughs> Pythagorean theorem is. <laughs> this kid's nine what? years old, bro. That guy fucking wrote it. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's Asian, not Greek. Dude, whatever. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Riley Mao, how old are you? I'm 22. There you go. He's bro. 22, bro. He's All 22. Right. He's hairless too. All right. And look, I'll tell you this. He's never. Hairless. Uh, he's hairless, so he looks younger. Got his first he pass. You know what I mean? <laughs> so, like, if we knew where, let's say, Dr. Pepper was giving our money. So Dr. Pepper's like, I gave, you know, a million. You know, Dr. Pepper, you gave a million dollars to uh, this Republicans. Republican. I'm going to drink. Yeah, tab or something. Exactly, right? But they also give a million dollars to the Dems, right? So the Dems are going to say, how could you give a million dollars to these people who want to stop a woman's right to choose? Right. And Dr. Pepper's like, I just want to sell cola. Yeah. I don't care. They just let me sell cola better. It's not about abortion. Right. But they're going to be like, no, you don't believe in abortion, Dr. Pepper. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? You're not an abortion doctor or yeah. whatever. Yeah. So. Yeah. <laughs> So like, so so, and then if they give the money, so he's like, all right, fine. I give the money to Democrats. Now you got all the Republicans like, you want to kill babies, yeah. Doctor Pepper. You want to kill them until they're up to two years old. Up to two. That's the latest ruling I heard. You can kill them until they're up to two. That's nuts, dude. Yeah, that's nuts. the year after pill. It's like, what <laughs> yeah. the fuck is going on? When does it end? When does it end? The seven year after dude, pill? How well behaved on a plane though. Oh dude. Dude. Like you, you break out a couple of those kid. in the fucking hand? How old's the kid? Yeah. <laughs> Doing a lot of crying on this yeah. flight. <laughs> I'll, I'll ask you this. Yeah. Well, if, well, what happened to me and Chris Hansen was this. Yeah. And there was, <laughs> we put him up. I'll ask you this. This is what happened to me and Chris Hansen. <laughs> 
<laughs> bro, you're impossible to talk to, dude. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> you're impossible Guys, to talk to, Guys, we both do this for a living. No, we let's promise. talk. We promise huh? we both do this for a living. <laughs> I don't do this for a living. <laughs> okay, tell me what happened with Chris Hansen because I got inundated with messages. People are upset at me for interviewing this guy because I didn't know that he, I guess, ripped you off or something. There was extra charges at his room. Where'd you put him up? We put him up at the Four Seasons. That's a, that's you know what I mean. Bro. You know what I mean. Yo, look, bro. You, know you done made it, <laughs> AT. You done made it, bro. Four Seasons. Look, bro. We put him up at least the three seasons. Bro. Oh, he got all four. <laughs> <laughs> According to those charges, my man that's was there true. For all of them. Now we put him up at the three seasons. He ordered the fourth. That's what I'm saying, bro. <laughs> How much extra charge? It was about twelve hundred dollars for autumn. No, <laughs> that's what it was. Dude. No, including room. There was extra charges. So that's where. It became a discrepancy where okay. it seemed like he was trying to not pay the extra charges okay and we kind of agreed on what the charges would be so yeah he felt like there was maybe gray area i don't know i'm not accusing him it just seemed obtuse at the end i thought because the story i heard the way that you know the game of telephone changes shit mm -hmm. is that um he tried to sneak out the hotel mm -hmm. and you had like an employee <laughs> chase him down <laughs> yeah like on some not so fat like remember your show sir like <laughs> like how ironic he leaves the hotel he gets arrested <laughs> and, and and then forced him to pay the bill before he left that's that's what i heard i swear to god i'm not making up any of this i swear to god and i got like 10 or 20 messages yeah, yeah, yeah. that were like this. uh here's what happened i had an assistant at the time yeah and she uh was make i had her she was checking out what the bill was what was going on yeah, yeah and she was literally talking to the woman on the front desk as he was leaving the hotel and so it just so happened it just so happened and so the she like it was had to apparently speak with the lady and say well can you make you know get a hold of him and get some charges out of him we yeah, gotta get yeah. some charges out of him yeah you know so. yeah but with that said I mean, the dude has done a lot for humanity, that's, and I don't mind putting him up for another couple nights. Isn't it? You know what I mean? Like, yeah. there's a little part of you that's got to go, like, he stopped so many pedophiles. Oh, totally. Like he, he shouldn't have to pay for the hotel. Yeah. But you were like, he should have to pay a little. He well, didn't stop enough. I think. Well, look, <laughs> he didn't know. stop what happened to me. Yeah. <laughs> what if the whole thing was a setup? Where were you oh, when dude, I was a kid? Yes, yes. What if that's the new show? <laughs> Where were you when I was a kid? And it's just people. It's just trashing. People rolling up on Chris Hansen and John Walsh and just yeah. sitting them down and saying, look, man, where were you when I was Yo, a kid? You know what dude, I, mean? I used to go over out there to LIE to that other place out there. They had, dude, that's the crazy thing about New York. The, 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 the room will be 30 feet by two and a half feet. You remember right? that little, yeah, yeah, little yeah, yeah. They'll have it's nine like a, coffee like a corridor there. on a yacht ship. <laughs> It's like, like the Norwegian, what is it called? The Norwegian, Norwegian cruise, line. cruise line. Yeah, yeah. yeah. they made a comedy club in just the corridor. Remember how crazy that shit is ridiculous. The waitress couldn't even carry a tray. Uh, -uh she was unbelievable. Just like individual tray. Yeah, she had two D. Yeah. It was two D comedy. It wasn't even yeah. three dimensional. <laughs> she had to set the drinks on her shoulders and then walk sideways. To get to Egyptian. The table. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Dude, Nate Bargatze murdered in that room, bro. Oh, I can see he that. Just yeah. murdered it. I can yeah, see yeah, that. Yeah. yeah, he's so calm. Yeah, Nate is that calm man. I bet him donating blood, it could be, it could be an afternoon. Two pints, bro. Bro. Yeah, yeah, but Two, it could be. He, he donates double. It's dude. a while though. Like, <laughs> his blood don't even care to go. Uh, it's <laughs> like, what are we doing here, Nate? You know.